I gotta tell you something. I failed. Good morning, guys. So it is Saturday. No. <laughs> you know who it is. <laughs> and <No>. basically, <laughs> Lily, I gotta stand right here okay, because of the light. <laughs> So Lily went back to her house and we feel like parent who just sent their child to like camp or something. Um, so we're just gonna relax today. Going we're gonna down get for <laughs> here we go again interrupting me every time I try to talk. But anyways, we're just gonna go in the pool, we're gonna relax today and GTO? just enjoy the day. She would stop talking. GTO! <laughs> <laughs> Paige and I had a great time at the pool today and we got so much sun that after that we were just out. And I don't even remember the last time that I took a nap. My man felt amazing. And now we're just gonna go to Rubio's for some dinner. Let's go. So guys, I gotta tell you something. I failed. I made a mistake. So here's the deal. A month ago, I set this challenge for myself to basically work out twice a day for 30 days. I did it for about two weeks straight and I was working out twice a day, doing cardio in the morning and weightlifting at night but it got to a point where my life got really busy and I couldn't fit one of them in my schedule. So work got really busy and um, I start missing my cardio in the morning because I was just on the go, go, go. I wake up, get dressed, go to work. Um, I didn't get a chance. And then when I come home, I would like, you know, hang out with the family and all that. And then at night I work out but then I'm working out late at night, which makes me really tired. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm just so tired. I just get up and go and go to work. So I kept missing my morning cardio. Um, and then my second problem was, is that we had a kid in the house who loves junk food. <laughs> so um, my diet was blown. I didn't really stick to my diet. I was eating a lot of crap. Uh, but the thing is, now, what I like about what I did, even though it was, I was challenging myself to work out twice a day and I failed at it, but I still worked out at least once a day. Um, and that, to me, is actually a great success. Um, because even though, you know, I didn't reach my goal, um, but I still, I put in the work. Um, I put in the work when I could. The bottom line of this message is that don't let failure stop you from going after your dreams, from going after your goal. Because even if you didn't reach your goal, at least you put in the work. The second thing to, is to look at it positively. Like, don't look at it like, oh man, you know, I just, I didn't do it. <clears throat> I failed. Um, I, you know, like, just get depressed and all that and let it get to you. No, look at it in a positive way. Hey, at least I worked out once every single day, which is something that I wasn't doing before. I was working out like maybe three times a week. That's about it. So uh, my message to you is you have to set goals for yourself because if you don't set goals, you'll get nowhere. You'll get no accomplishment. And then it's going to at that point affect you and how you feel about yourself. You start feeling like a loser and all that. Like, well, I can't do anything right with my life. So one, set goals for yourself. Two, if you don't reach your goals, don't let it bring you down. Just keep at it. You're gonna reach your goals at some point. And three, look at things in a positive way. Don't, you know, just focus on the negative because that is gonna reflect back on you and then you're just gonna start feeling negative and everything around you is gonna be negative because law of attraction is whatever you put out there is gonna come right back at you. So set goals for yourself. Don't let failure put you down and always stay positive. 
Love you guys. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace!